you know, the two words that, that really come to mind, I think, uh, when you see a project of this magnitude being um, approved and um, conducted in these difficult economic times are uh, vision and uh, courage, because I think we had to have both of those things in large measure in order for this project to even be this is where I think courage comes in because these are very difficult economic times. But the timing was right for a number of reasons. We had some government help, federal help, uh, qualified school construction bonds, no interest bonds, and these programs aren't permanent. These were programs that are part of the uh, federal government's uh, stimulus package program, and they're not going to be there forever. So really the time was right to maximize the federal government's help on this and help us get no interest and low interest bonds. So, in a very difficult economic time, um, the residents of this community, I think, showed a great deal of courage uh, and said, yes, yes, our schools are important. We are thinking about kids. Things are not good economically right now in our community, but we are voting for this. Now, it didn't pass overwhelmingly, but it did pass. And uh, I'm, I'm very proud, uh, seriously very proud to work in a community that places such a high value on education. And I think that's, that's really terrific. And the community really should be congratulated for doing that. I mean, when times are good, that's one thing. But when times are tough, that's something quite different. And that's what this community really did. And I think it's terrific, just terrific. The referendum uh, was very close. Uh, however, it is going through, and it is our job to implement the will of our constituents, which is to build a building here. And uh, the fact that it did pass, at the time it did pass, does show the tremendous support that this community has for education. Uh, happened in the deepest throes of recession, and we were able to pass a referendum. I think that speaks marvelously for our community. I also want to thank uh, Keith Johnson and Michelle Besson. Without your help, it probably wouldn't have gone through. So thank you very much. So, uh, we're very, very fortunate to have such giving people in our community who embrace their children's future. This community has always looked ahead with the desire to create better access to learning, greater opportunities for growth, and expanded educational programs. And with this groundbreaking, it's another new beginning that we look forward to with great anticipation. We are so, so very fortunate we have such a strong commitment in our community that we had a great committee who went out and helped inform everyone about the needs of our buildings. And it was through that education that I think our whole community came to understand what was happening in the schools. Um, this building is going to bring a lot of the dreams that we have for our children into a reality. Our kids are going to have a library that's full of books from K all the way up and beyond 8th grade. So that no matter what their reading level is, they're going to have books available to them. They're going to have art and music and computer rooms that were designed to be those things that work well for those um, classes and that is so very important.